guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I have a really big haul for you. I was not anticipating this haul being this big, but I keep failing to record it and I keep acquiring books. So this is my pre-birthday haul. All of the books I have here, I have gotten anywhere between the end, actually middle of March till now, the end of May. So it's a good few months worth of books. And yeah, my birthday is coming up. So I thought that I better haul all of these before I get more books for my birthday and then just have a giant haul, which I really didn't want to do, keep the birthday haul separate. So yeah, I have a huge spring-ish haul for you. And I kept wanting to call it a fall haul, but it's not fall. I wish it was fall. So I'm not gonna go into these in any particular order because I just have them lined up on my table, which you can kind of see this one. And yeah, we're just gonna gonna get into it. The first book that we have here, since it's the first one on the table, is Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. Honestly, I can't even tell you what this is about, but I know that Sam over at Novels and Nonsense loves Robin Hobb. She's one of her favorite authors, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to read these. I am participating in the Hobb Along Read Along, which is a read along that Sam is hosting, and it's basically from now till the end of the year trying to read all 15 of Robin Hobb's books. I saw this at Half Price Books, and this is the one that I was definitely interested in out of all of the ones that Sam has talked about. So I picked it up because it was a couple of dollars at Half Price Books, and I can never find any Robin Hobb books in my local Barn Books a Million. So yeah, I jumped on it, and I'm pretty excited to read it. Keeping on the Robin Hobb front, I also have Dragon Keeper by Robin Hobb. Again, don't really know much of what it's about other than Sam loves her and all of her books. And again, the read-along. So yeah, I saw this in this cute little indie bookstore that we have apparently in this area that I didn't even know existed. We were going to get Chinese food and saw a bookstore and stopped and they had a lot of Robin Hobb books. So I might end up going back and buying more since I know that they have them. So yeah, again, don't know when we're getting to this one. But I'm pretty excited and I really like this cover too. The next book that I have here is Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. So I actually own all three of the Hunger Games books on ebook. I bought them as an ebook bundle for like 15 bucks or something. I'm slowly collecting them all on paperback. I do have the first one on paperback. This is a little nicer than my first one that I have, but I am collecting them all. Now I just need to find a Mockingjay in the original cover on paperback and my trilogy will be complete in physical form. The next six books I also picked up at Half Price Books and they're all UK editions of these books. Most of them are rebuys because the UK edition and they're pretty. But these two first ones are books two and three in the Dexter series, Dearly Devoted Dexter and Dexter in the Dark by Jeff Lindsay. I'm pretty excited. I do already have the second one in the US cover, but I like the UK covers because they're simple and yeah, so now I'm on a hunt for the rest of the series in the UK covers. Slowly but surely, I'm collecting the series. I am on book two, I have read book one, and, and if you don't know what Dexter is about, Dexter follows this guy named Dexter, who is a serial killer trying to live a normal everyday life as a forensic expert, like a blood spatter analysis. And basically, he kills the bad guys, so that's how he gets away with it for so long. The first book is what the TV show is based off of, but after the first book and the first season, they broke away from the books. So really, really can't wait to get to these because I'm really interested to see how Jeff progressed Dexter's story compared to how Showtime predicts Dexter's story. I just, I love Dexter so much. The next UK edition that I have is Holes by Louis Sakar. Sachar, I can never, I never know how to pronounce his name, but this is one of my favorite books from when I was a kid. Definitely, definitely up there with Harry Potter. I think I've reread it about as many times as I've reread the early Harry Potter books, and this cover is adorable. The next three books I'm super excited for because they were UK edition. I actually didn't see the UK editions at the Half Price Books. The friend that I was with did see them and he already has the UK editions, so he let me buy them, luckily. And that is the first three books in the Harry Potter series. Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, super excited because I've always wanted the UK editions. I just also really love the spines, how colorful they are, so yeah. I am now collecting the UK editions apparently, you know, because you can never have too many editions of Harry Potter books. 
The next two books that I have here are The Raven King and The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. This one I bought early because Barnes & Noble put it out early for whatever reason. So this is the one I started early and bought early and got completely tabbed and annotated and everything. And then this was the pre-order. And this was also the one that I took to Maggie's signing. So if you pre-ordered it from the local bookstore that Maggie has in her town or whatever, she drew in it and then sent you a signed book plate as well. So she drew death in every copy which is adorable, and she also sent you this signed book plate, which honestly I'm probably not going to stick in my book. I'm probably gonna like frame it or something because it's, it's too adorable to stick in my book, to be honest. And then like I said, this is the book that I took to her signing. Oh no, my book plate. So it is signed for Gina Maggie. The next book that I have here is the hardcover of The Raven Boys, also by Maggie Steve Otter. At her signing, you had to buy a book in order to get books signed. So I already had two copies of The Raven King. I didn't need a third copy of The Raven King. And yeah, so I ended up buying a hardcover of The Raven Boys. Now I just need Blue Lily Lily Blue and The Dream Thieves in hardcover because I like what the spines do when they're all uncovered because they make like a neat grayscale effect. And since I got this at the signing, I did also get this signed. This one is not personalized. They only let you get two personalized. The next book that I have here was a pre-order and that is Summer Days and Summer Nights. 12 love stories by a whole bunch of different authors edited by Stephanie Perkins. I have the 12 Days of Christmas or whatever that one is called. My True Love Gave to Me, that's what it's called, which is 12 Christmas love stories and I'm enjoying it. So I went ahead and got this one as well. And I really like the Naked Hardback too because it has, you can't really see that, but it has the title embossed on the hardback. And it's kind of yellow. I like yellow. Yellow's pretty. The next book I have here is Hilo, The Boy Who Crashed to Earth by Judd Winnick. This is the first book in this series. If you guys watched my book con where I recap a slash haul, you know that I got book two as an arc and I looked through it and I was kind of enjoying it. So I went ahead and picked up book one so that way I can start from the beginning and not just read the second book. And I'm pretty excited because one of the main characters' names is Gina. The next book I have here is probably the book that I got before all of these books, but it's at the bottom because it was at the bottom of my thumbnail pile. And that is The Haters by Jesse Andrews. This is naked because I am currently reading it. However, I've kind of set it down because I'm reading other things. I will get back to it soon. But basically this is about a boy who goes away to like this summer jazz camp and he meets up with a couple other people that really don't care to be at jazz camp and kind of don't like the the norm or like the popular things and so they decide to make a band hating on bands. It, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty excited to read it. I'm enjoying so far of what I've read of it and I really love Me and Earl on the Dying Girl also by Jesse Andrews. So I'm hoping to pick this one back up soon because yeah, I don't, I don't know. This haul is everywhere. The next book is another one that I am currently reading, but this one I really am currently reading and I'm almost done with it, hoping to finish it tonight if not tomorrow. And that is Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. I'm loving this book so much. This book is about a kid named Solomon Reed who has severe agoraphobia and severe panic disorder. If you don't know, agoraphobia is when you have a fear of the outside. You have a fear of going outdoors, you don't leave your house basically, and he has a very extreme case of agoraphobia which stems from a panic disorder which causes him to have a lot of panic attacks and eventually he just decides he's never leaving his house again. So he goes to online school and his parents are okay with just kind of letting him do his thing. And it also follows a girl named Lisa Prater who decides that she wants to be a psychologist and she wants to go to the second top psychological school in the system, like the best second top psych program. And the entry essay for this program, for the scholarship, is to write about your personal mental illness or mental health experience. So she decides to track down Solomon, who she remembers from middle school as the weird kid that jumped into a fountain, and decides that she's going to cure him of his agoraphobia and write about it in her essay. So yeah, so far I'm loving it. I love the characters. I just love Corey's writing. It's just so amazing and I got to meet him which was super fun. He's really down to earth and real fun to talk to. He takes the time to kind of have a conversation and it also helps that we bonded because our last names are both Whaley. So of course he signed it. And the naked hardback of this one is also pretty cool because it's all black 
But then you got this little this little guy here, which is Solomon on it. Almost done. The second to last book that I have here is really heavy, and that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. I wasn't anticipating buying this. I wanted to buy it, and then I couldn't find it, so I decided not to buy it because I loved the first one. But now that it's a year later, I don't know if I liked the first one because I liked it or if I liked it because of the hype. I'm not sure because I'm not a big fan of Sarah's writing. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the Throne of Glass series. Like, I DNF'd the first book. And I just, I don't know. But I was at the bookstore picking up a couple other books. And I saw this on their signed edition wall. So it is signed. So that matches my signed copy of the first one. And I just, I really want to read it. And I'm on like a super long hold at the library on both Overdrive and my physical library. So I broke down and bought it. And this is, this feels a lot thicker than the first one, A Court of Thorns and Roses. And from what I can tell, this picks up right after the first one. I kind of forgot what happened to the first one. So I've been going through and watching people's book talks to remind myself of what happened to the first one. Because I really don't feel like rereading the first one. So I'm hoping to pick this up after I finish Highly Illogical Behavior. And the last book that I have here is one that I'm super excited for, and that is The Sandman by William Joyce. Yes, this is a picture book that follows the story of the Sandman from Rise of the Guardians. And that is it for this giant springy book haul. That's all I have. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.